So moving, move, can you imagine moving from, from Townsville? I, I lived in Sydney for a little while. It was all just a bit too much and I'm getting back to that now. Um, so I was here just recently and I went, right, I've got to relax. I've just got to get, get used to this city. So I thought, right, I'll pamper myself because that's what us girls do, don't we? Just go, yeah, go and spritz. Spritz or Groupon or Coupon or Scoupon or Moupon or fucking Mongon or whatever the fuck they call <laughs> So I've gone online and I've, I've thought I've found something rather special. And um, it, it's a Korean bathhouse, you know, the ginseng bathhouse, right? So I've rocked up there and I've got the, I've got the big undies on and the dirty old beige bra. And I've rocked up there and I'm standing there quite pensive, a little bit going, mm, what's going to happen? Standing there like that. And this gorgeous four foot Korean masseuse, she's this high, right? She's walking towards me, gorgeous thing, little, little short thong, little crop top. Skinny little thing, gorgeous, long flowing hair, smiling eyes, gets in really close and goes, Take your clothes off! <laughs> I just went, Fuck, I really need a massage now because you're stressing me out. <laughs> and I got up on the table because she told me to, Get up on the table! I was like, Fuck, okay. So there I am, clambering up onto this table. <laughs> Took me bloody ages, Cellulite City. I'm finally up there on this beautiful red vinyl table. I'm up there about two seconds and then she's from nowhere, from nowhere. She's ninjured, she's fit. She's ninjured up onto the table with it. She's like, pow! <laughs> up on the table. She's got her knees planted either side of my butt cheeks, quite firmly, in there like this. Mm. And she starts belting the bejesus out of my ass with a hot, wet towel. <laughs> I'm just laying there, taking like a bitch, just going, fuck it. <laughs> but while she's doing this, right, to rub salt into the wounds, and there's plenty of them, <laughs> she starts talking to the next masseuse at the next table like I don't even exist, right? They're, they're talking away, they're talking in Korean, so I can't understand a word, right? And they're laughing in Korean. <laughs> And I can feel it's about me, right? I know it's about me. And I reckon she's saying something a bit like this to her mate. I don't know about you, but I got stupid fucking wahoo here. <laughs> she turn up in her ugly, ugly, ugly so bad, I whip her ass. <laughs> Not even part of treatment, she don't know, she's stupid. <laughs> she paid $90. <laughs> she's my husband, I bet he don't fuck her. <laughs> She was right. <laughs> but I lost about a kilo off my ass. <laughs> but I'd opted for the facial as well, right? Opted for the facial, which was stupid. Because, you know, you know what happens, guys, right? You don't know this, but us girls, what we do, we'll go to a nice day spa. And everything's white and pristine. The ladies are all, you know, all for it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of placenta on your face and really draw out the, the, the toxins in your skin. And then I'm gonna put it all down here. And there's beautiful music playing, wilderness music. Kaka, <laughs> kaka, you know, there's always. <laughs> and you pay shitloads of money for it, right? But in this place, it's just crazy. And just chicks walking around with buckets of water, sloshing them and shit. And it's not like, no. None of that, right? So I've opted for the facial, and she's just gone, stay there. And she's gone, okay. Roll over. Okay. She's kind of mean. Anyway, she, go, she goes over to this little area, right? And I don't know what I'm in for, because I don't know what a Korean massage is. And I don't know what a facial is either, right? So I'm just like, what the fuck could happen? I've just had my ass slapped, right? <laughs> She's come back. She's got a grater. You know those Woolies graters? They're really cheap, shitty, fucking the ones that rust in about two. You know those, re yeah, b bad grater. She's got that and she's got this cucumber and she starts grating it straight onto my face. She's... <laughs> and it's hit lunchtime and I'm just, I'm starving. <laughs> And I'm just laying there like a little baby bird, just like, uh, uh, trying to get some of that shit in my mouth. Right? 
And then it just doesn't end, right? And it's like, got this kid coming, and she's patted it down. And, and look, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm looking like something from Silence of the Lambs, you know. She goes back over, stay there! Yeah, it goes back over. And, and it's now time for the honey, but it's not, it's not the, oh, I'm just gonna go and get some manuka honey because of the drawing toxins. No, it's just, guess this honey, right? It's not manuka honey, it's not even nice honey, it's the shitty kids honey. You know, the little Capilano fucking bear thing. I mean, is that honey? I don't know, what is this? Straight onto my face. Pats it down, it's like. I was like, I want this to end. I just want to go and play the pokies and have a fucking beer and a fag. I mean, King's Cross, I can hear them out there having fun. <laughs> nah, it doesn't end. It's just fucking never ending. It's the fucking never ending fucking Korean massage fucking facial. Goes back, oh, she, she goes, there's a little mini bar fridge. She opens it up, right? She gets a two litre bottle of ha- home brand milk, home brand, sloshes it up and down my body. <laughs> Like, whatever, right? And scrubs me. <laughs> you finish! <laughs> and that was it. That was the fucking... And I reckon, I reckon they're having a land. Seriously, I reckon they're having a land. Uh, I reckon they all live together. And in the, in the height of luxury. <laughs> and they just open up these massive fridges and go, mm, What is out of use by date? What can stupid fucking white whore have on her face today? But it looks not doesn't look too bad. <laughs>